I've had five pregnancies. As they got older, um, you know, with five, you can, and with some friends, you can make a football team or volleyball. I noticed the um, incontinence after my fourth um, baby, so um, I was in my 30s. And instead of participating in the sports, I became the photographer because the jumping, the running, squatting, anything like that would be, um, you know, worse as far as incontinence goes. I dealt with it by, you know, using the, the pads and uh, trying to mask it as I could with clothing and making sure that there was a restroom available wherever I went. One vacation we had gone uh, to Tennessee and the kids, they did mountain biking and horseback riding and I stayed back because there's no restroom there. Women that suffer from stress urinary incontinence many times don't realize there's something that can be done to help them. I've seen women that used to love to go out and ride their bikes, they loved to jog, they loved to go to the mall, and they stop doing those things because of the embarrassment. They start wearing dark clothes, black pants, so that if they do wet their pants, people don't notice it. So uh, for patients that have urinary incontinence, we offer them a mid-urethral sling. I like to say the sling is here and the urethra is here, and when the urethra moves, we give it a little backstop. And so what this is going to do is it's going to serve as a little pivot point for the urethra to bend. And so think of a straw. If you bend a straw, nothing comes out of it. And so the sling is going to prevent any urine from leaking out when the patient is active. But when the urethra is not moving, the patient can urinate normally. I had my uh, surgery at, as an outpatient. I went back to the room, went to sleep. <laughs> Woke up and I was in the uh, recovery center. I was experiencing some pain. It was just a soreness. I went home a couple hours later and by the next day, you know, I felt good. I noticed the results immediately. It was like hitting the reverse button. But um, yeah, it was immediately. It was a good feeling. My advice to other women dealing with the incontinence is to um, find a urologist, or if you can't go to a urologist, mention it to your family physician, and don't leave that office until you have a referral or some information to get help. I just felt a freedom. I love being able to be with my kids and just do things with them, you know? Um, this past year, in, uh, in May, I went mount mountain biking with them. <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. I wish I had done it earlier, like five years ago. 